What's up guys? Today we're gonna be bleeding the brakes and even though I have Brian over here. Say hi Brian. Hi. I'm still gonna be doing the one person method just because I think it's easier. So we're gonna go ahead and get the wheels off and we'll start from there. All right, the wheels are off. And like I said earlier, we are doing the one person method. So you can either buy a tool or you can make a really cheap one with a bottle and some tubing. I'll have to put in what size this is because I don't remember off the top of my head. And then you just put a little bit of fluid and then I'll show you when we get to the back of the brakes how it works. But this way you'll be able to just crack the bleeder valve and you'll just be able to pump the brakes without having to worry about anyone closing it. So you just set it up like this and then if any air tries to get back in, the highest point is way up there so it won't suck in any air. And then the end of the one in the bottle is submerged so if it does suck anything up, it'll just be more brake fluid. When bleeding your brakes, you wanna start farthest from the reservoir or if you have ABS, you wanna start farthest from the ABS module. So if your Miata has ABS, you start with the rear driver side and then you go to the rear passenger side. So we bred, oh my God, <laughs> bled. So we bled the brakes, but unfortunately the rears, I don't know if they're clogged up or what, they work, but I took the bleeder screw all the way off and no brake fluid came off. But if I put the car in gear and hit the brakes, it does stop them. So I think I might have to change the calipers or find out what's causing that. But so we went ahead and bled the front the brake fluid was a little dirty, not too bad, but I'm hoping it firms up the brake pedal. So we're gonna put the tires back on and go for a drive and hopefully the brake pedal will feel a little more firm.